So we've spent the day talking about the importance of leadership, and we've heard from businessmen and women how they have to deliver for their staff, their shareholders, their products. Yours is a matter of life and death. How do you balance that? Well, as I tried to say in that short, short interview, um, the balance requires you to do everything humanly possible uh, to minimize risk. Now, risk is with us in whatever walk of life, but ours is a particular one. Uh, but as I, again, as I said, um, those who join our armed forces know perfectly well uh, what it is they are signing up to. And um, it's a funny old thing about this country, but we still produce some very red-blooded youngsters who, um, who rather like the idea of a legal scrap. As you... Um, as you Thank heavens. <laughs> As you rose through the ranks, what sort of officers did you work well to? What did you see in them that you thought, yes, I'll take an order from that bloke? That's a very good question. Um, as you go on through life, and one of my attributes to the qualities you're looking for in leadership, one came out very clearly from the Waitrose presentation is courage. Um, we require physical courage, but we also require moral courage in considerable amounts. Um, and the other side almost of the same coin is judgment. How good is somebody's judgment? And those two things, I say, are almost two sides of the same coin. And it's something that you get as you go through, as you look at how other people do it when you're young and you learn when you start to do it for yourself and inevitably there will be a mistake here and there from which you uh, contemplate quite deeply.